Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberkin Productions. It's been a while, I know, hope you all had a great Christmas and a happy new year. So, a new game has just been released today called Doctor Who The Lonely Assassins. It's supposed to be a sequel to Blink, uh, one of the greatest Doctor Who episodes of all time in my opinion. Um, and we're going to do this, it's probably going to be about four parts because I think it's about three hours long and I'm not uploading a three hour long video because my internet isn't fantastic and I don't have a month. <laughs> to just upload. So, yeah, let's uh, jump into this, I suppose. Let's jump in. Please enter your pattern. I, am I supposed to know this? Lawrence, at last. Oh, the way you've been avoiding my calls, anyone would think I was your mother. This isn't your mother, by the way. Well, unless there's been a horrendous mix-up with a time fracture. But I think... I think you're not Lawrence, which means Lawrence is still missing. <sighs> okay, I've not got long, so just listen. I have a funny feeling an old friend of mine made sure this phone fell into your hands, which means you're the right person for the job. The job being, find Lawrence. I can't stress how important that is. Think yellow highlighter and, and circled in red several times. Yes, that important. Right, my friends call me Petronella. You can call me Osgood. I'm an investigator looking into the odd, the unexplained, anything on Earth or even beyond. And I've only just realised what a massive remit that is. No wonder I need your help. You and me are going to sift through clues, codes, and face some terrifying enemies. Sound like fun? Look, I've got to go. But I'll be in touch, because you and me, we've got a game. Lawrence. Blink. I just remembered. <laughs> wow. So Is that really the same guy?
All right, so let's have a look at the mail. Damn you, damn you, Nightingale. Dear Mr. Nightingale, I write regarding the recent renovations of my property. I understand that construction works can cause inconvenience to those around, and for that, I apologise. That said, I must ask you to refrain from harassing me any further. What I do on my property is my business, and I am well within my rights to carry out whatever works I choose on my home. If you do not desist, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. Regards, Edward Flint. P.S. I should add that I do not appreciate your childish scare tactics. I do not believe for one solitary moment the outlandish tales you tell about my property. I see them for what they are. Poisonous poppycock, Mr. Nightingale. Poisonous poppycock. Alright, so obviously he's Lawrence's uh, this is clearly the guy that he's bought West of Drumlins um, which is the house in uh, Blink so yeah Dimension uh, I Nightingale 76 excellent news your orders successfully being delivered you've earned the following score credit okay Henrik's department store received your order What did he order? Order no order ID five seven four three two zero. All right. Um, when did he order it? Thirteenth of February, twenty twenty one. Ordered. No, it's delivered now, isn't it? Maybe I'll just try to put that in. Wait, if I remove that, does it tell you how you set it out? Yeah, so, oh, day, month. Oh yeah, that's how I did it. Uh, it's delivered, so submit. There we go. 71 Timber Street. Standard latex balloons. Disco mirror ball. Silly string. Rose gold birthday banner. Standard beer keg. Okay. So,
Why does that look like Wester Drumlins? Christ. I think Sally goes missing. That's what I could make out. So there's another, can't access those. Dear Mr. Lennox, Mrs. Lennox, thank you for your email. Allow me to go over the events of the unfortunate day you chose to enter our shop. One, you order the chicken palms and salads. When this was brought to you, you asked if there was meat in it, to which the reply was obviously yes. You then flew into a raging temper and informed us that you do not eat meat. While you somehow managed to misunderstand the word chicken on the menu, our staff was kind enough to offer you a replacement meal. You responded by throwing your plate and cutlery on the floor. At this point, our staff had no choice but to score you off our premises. Also, that uppity woman is my partner. Given your behaviour, Mrs. Lennox, be thankful that we're not pressing charges. Please do not patronise us ever again. Mum always did say you were a crazy old bat. Cheerio, Lawrence. Dear Lawrence, this is Amy Lennox here. I do hope you remember me. I was a friend of your mum. How are you, my dear? I haven't seen you since you were a wee lad. Pains me to write this, but I had the most unsatisfactory satisfactory experience at your establishment the other day, and I wanted to bring the matter to your attention. I was at the cafe at your cafe for lunch, and my order was completely wrong. Now, normally I wouldn't kick up a fuss, but the young lady on duty that day was rather uppity and rude when I voiced my complaint. I understand that it's hard to get good help these days, but you really must give a close... Keep a close eye on your staff, my dear. Give an inch and they'll take a mile. I always say, I suppose if your parents were around, they could have given you this guidance. But Auntie Amy is here to help. Wishing you good health. And be near next. Bitch. <laughs> um, so there's... Okay. Chats. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's uh, save that one. Uh, okay, that's for Hendrix. Kathy. Oh, that's his sister. Happy birthday, Kathy. It feels so odd to say that again. I miss you, Kathy. I miss you so much. There's so much happening now that's dread dredging up old memories. I wish we spoke more, especially after mum and dad passed. More than just me phoning you whenever I need a place to stay. I know I can't change things, but I just want to be your dumb brother again. You're always the smart one. I was, yeah. I'd give anything to go back to that tally here. Um, hello? Kathy? No, no, I'm, s I'm so sorry. This isn't your sister. I didn't mean to interrupt, but, well, there's no easy way to say this. My name's Graham. I'm the current owner oh, no, of this number. Oh, God. Oh, God, my apologies, Graham. I should have known that the provider would have sold a number by now. I'll stop. It's all right, really. I'm sorry for your loss, mate. Thanks, Graham. I appreciate it. Listen, you can keep sending me messages if you want. I won't read them, promise. It's awfully generous of you, but it's all right. Probably should have said all those things when I could anyway. I understand. Your offer still sounds if you ever change your mind, though. I'll remember that. It's no problem. I hope you have a good day. I'm sorry about interrupting you. Graham is such a name to have in Doctor Who, isn't it? Is that Graham Graham? Why also are their pictures turned around? I find that really creepy. Mo. Uh, you're bailing again, Larry. The campaign's been on pause for weeks. I know, I know, sorry. But work's in the way and I have other things going on. Maybe just go ahead without me just this once. 
What? You are only healer. Plus Tom's a complete murder hobo. It'll be a chaos. We should kick him off the group if he keeps it up. See, this is why we need our cleric. His infinite wisdom. We'll just have to aim for a session after, da after Daz's party. Are you sure you're okay with the planning since you're busy and all? Positive. I want to make up for everything. If you insist... Alright, tell me if you need any help, yeah? You got it, Mo. 13th of February. Psst. You got everything ready for Daz's birthday party. So that's what the balloons and stuff were for. Yep, stuff should get delivered by this weekend. Excellent, elect. Yeah, the best. Can hardly wait. Hopefully, anyway. You never know with Henrik's. Hello, hello. Okay. Wait, how many packs are you getting? Getting a keg. Yes, he hates surprises, but the keg will definitely make up for everything. Did I mention you're the best? Only the other day, lol. Modesty on this one. 14th February. Just saw the list of stuff I made. Disco Ball, your proper legend. I know, I know, I'm the best. 17th of February. Hi, mate. Party day is almost here. Needing to help bring the stuff on the day off. Might help myself to the keg first. Larry, don't leave me hanging, man. Don't leave me hanging, man. Larry, what's going on? I'm just trying to give Dazza a decent birthday. Serves me right for depending on you, I guess. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, man. I just got back and Dazza told me about Nat. You must be, like, crazy worried. But she's going to turn up. You probably thought I was well out of order with my texts about the party. But obviously, I'll take care of all that. You need to focus on finding Nats. And hey, I'm here for you, Loz. Whatever you need. Even if it's just a talk. Don't be one of those dinosaurs who thinks talking about problems at Mug's game. It helps, man. I should know. Listen, I'm going to give you another bell later, okay? And we'll find her, yeah? You and her, you're going to be together forever. All right, later. Nah. Mate, sorry about everything again. I'm here for you, right? I'm here for you, you know that, right? Call me if you need anything, whether it's a bite to eat or just take your mind off things so I can be over in a flash. 19th of February. Are you okay? I wanted to check in with you. Popped by earlier, but you weren't around. Good to know you're out of the house at least. Left some steel me mum cooked up near your post box. Please take care of yourself. 22nd of February. Lara, mate, I know it's hard times, so but don't go silent on me, yeah? You're worrying me, man. If not, then ring Dazza. Hammer shot anyone, really. You know we've got you. 24th. Larry, please talk to me. No one's seen you in days. Where are you? Yeah, so he's got a mission. Sally. Hey, Sally. I hope I caught you before your flight. Just wanted to wish you good luck. You'll do great things in America. I know it. The world isn't ready for Sally Sparrow. We've got everything covered here, I promise. But don't forget us once you've got your big, exciting life going there, yeah? Oh, Larry, don't be so dramatic. I'm just moving across the pond. It's not the end of the world. But thank you, Larry. I know I'm leaving London and the store in capable hands. I'd never doubt, on that. Never doubt a nightingale. Promise I'll make you proud. And I'll send a postcard to you peasants when I make it big here. Oh, shush. Again, why is the picture like that? I don't appreciate it. Nat's dad. So who's Nat? Nat's mum. Oh, Natasha Nightingale. He had another, he had a sister? Ronnie? He knows Ronnie? Weird. Check the browser. Sparrow and Nightingale. Um not going to read every single thing out loud at least okay let's talk back to Osgood really no new clues so what do I need to do okay yeah I forgot this is a scan thing isn't it so explore the phone and look for potential clues Uh, 
damage, so that's one. Um, and then we want this as well. Alright, so whenever it does that pop up thing, that's when you've. There's something nearby. Okay. What else was there? Got the order. Yeah. Send these to Osgood. That sounds like an important person to Lawrence. Sounds like something happened to the poor woman. Thankfully, no one should have to go through difficult things alone. But if he lost his phone, it makes me question if he took up their offers of help. So, is there anything on? Um, Yeah, it's his sister, I think. This is interesting so far. All right, yeah. Um, there was an incident, yes, so, certainly worth looking into. Um, you think something happened then? Well, I'm not 100% certain, to be honest. I also just realised that Lawrence hasn't tried to find his phone. That strikes me as very odd. How do you know? I've run 54 checks and he hasn't called his phone or texted it. And he hasn't done any of the other find my phone things you'd normally expect. But he did try to call his phone. What? How did that... How did it sit by my senses? Never mind, what did it say? Where was he? Yeah, also I think his phone rang itself. That's impossible unless he had other help. I'll see what I can do if it's really him trying to reach through. Perhaps the line was bad or whatever it is, it must have been serious. What do you think it could have been? Well, my bug detected space-time anomaly just before the phone went dead. That means he was in contact with some advanced tech or even something extraterrestrial. The person I'm looking for definitely fits both possibilities, but many other dangerous things also fit both possibilities. I wanted to get more data, but I couldn't access the phone after that. What are space-time anomalies again? They're glitches and temporal mutations. Most of the current anomalies we're seeing are either hangovers of the reality virus debacle or connected to the time fracture. But the readings on the phone indicate a very different sort of anomaly. Anyway, focus. We should see if Lawrence has been to any other usual events. Where should I start? 
Uh, I've managed to use the data you scanned to recover more files. There must be, there might be more clues in those. Alright, so let's have a look on pictures. To death do us part. So did they did did he split up from Sally then? He must have. Natasha Nightingale. It's his wife. Not his sister. Oh, I don't like that. That's very uncomfortable. It's cool that it's the same guy as well. Turn it sound down. <laughs> it's a bit loud. Um. I can't get out of it. Let's upload these. Happily married man there now, Lawrence. I'm almost certain that this is the Nat no mentioned in his message. Mo mentioned in his message. Seeing them makes this much more real. It is real, but I understand what you mean. Well, it's a process, isn't it? Just so, sh but just so a shock. Shark one seven four seven. Shark one seven four seven. Shark. Could you find trying to find a name of her? Hey, the signal is odd. Who was it? Just someone saying a bunch of random numbers. Hmm, very odd. It's hard for me to guess without hearing it myself. It seemed like a hijacked phone signal. Could it be data corruption? It's possible. But it doesn't quite match the corruption. Check the call history and see if the numbers play, number plays back. I'll look into it when I can later. Right, we'll upload up, up the corrupted photo. This isn't terribly encouraging. What's up? The item you scanned. Thank you for doing that, by the way. It doesn't really fit with any of the existing data we've found so far, which means we can't use it to uncover more data. It could still be useful. You're right. I'm convinced this is significant somehow. Might not help us recover data, but I think it's a lead worth following. Keep going, I'll let you know if anything interesting comes up. Okay. Let's have a look in the emails. Uh, L Nightingale 76, you were mentioned in a comment by JJ Jackpot in the following thread, weird phone corruption. I can link to the thread. You know, I'm here familiar with bugs. I'm 99.999% certain I've got some kind of virus or bug on my phone and it's glitching every, everything out. Down to my last few security protocols at the Mo. Worst part is so much data has been corrupt. Apologises to those waiting for my updates of Wester Drumlins. Those batch of photos were for the first to go. 
Might help if you tell us what kind of glitches, mate. Mostly just weird patterns on of numbers, but now it feels there's an image in those too. Everything just keeps shifting up, shifting though, so I can't tell what I'm looking at. I think I'm actually experiencing some kind of phenomena on my phone, or it's in my phone. I don't know. The virus. It's just burning through my phone right now, corrupting everything. I've tried to delete the source file that I traced it back to, but it's like the virus is always two steps ahead of me. It's behaving like it's got a mind of its own. The really weird thing is I feel like something's watching me through my phone. I feel like it's slowly waking up and forcing me to look at it. Are you telling us you've got some eldritch horror on your phone? You're all looking, you're all looking for the unexplained, right? Here it is, and I'm getting these strange dreams, hallucinations, even when I'm awake. I keep thinking that my arms are turning into stone. He took a picture of a wet, of an angel, didn't he? And it's living on his phone. It keeps moving the pictures. I look away for a brief second and it gets closer. You were right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mr. Drumlin, don't go there. Don't go. Take a breather, mate. It'll be alright. It's too late. It's here. Watching me. Yeah, he's got, he's ended up, um, he took a picture of an angel, because he said that he went back to West of Drumlins, uh, and everyone knows an image of an angel becomes itself an angel. Sacred Circle is a conspiracy theory message board, used to pursue it myself for some fascinating sites, I've never pegged Lawrence to be the type. What's this with the Jack fella, experiencing glitches with his phone? Have you seen anything like it? Not at all. This is the first I've heard of something infecting your phone like that. And it's not a simple technical bug. Looks like it's affected him psychologically too. That's horrifying. Jack's last words about Larry. He was right. He was right about Wester Drumlins. Could the same thing have happened to Lawrence? My gut tells me no. He doesn't have his phone. You do. Uh, but no, not to worry, I know what I'm doing. I have major precautions in place to keep us both safe, but do tell me if there's any weirdness about. Will do. So. Which part? It says there's more of Sally. Oh. Hey, Sally. I know it's been a while, but this is urgent. Nat's missing. It's like she just up and disappeared. It's them, Sal. I know it. They did this. I was... Sorry. What was I thinking? It's just... You're the only one that gets it. You were right to escape. Even he knows it was the angels. What do you mean Natasha's missing? We did everything we could to prevent this. Didn't have the heart to tell you. Someone bought Wester Drummond's. What? Larry? I couldn't do that to you again, Sally. I made you a promise. Believe me, I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen, and now she's gone. I'm coming home. We'll figure it, figure it out, okay? I'll get a fly out first thing in the morning. No, don't, Sally. If it really is those things, you and Natasha are the only people I care about. As much as I want to face this with you, please don't come back. Can't let you do this to yourself. Either yourself, Larry. You sound just like her. She wanted to help too. We'll get her back. I'll contact Rani. See if there's anything you can do about sealing that place off for good. Just be safe, okay? And please stay. Okay, I hate this. Promise me you'll be careful. You're a brave man, Larry Nightingale. I think I've heard that once before. You hear it again from the Tasha next time. Oh my god, I slept through my alarms. Why didn't you wake me up? It's an hour past opening now. Because I've made the executive decision to give you the day off. You're ill now. You need to rest. But we're meeting the new supplies today. And Mrs. Morris from the from the foster home. Are you sure you can manage all of it by yourself? There'll be like 12 kids up for the tour. I've got it all covered. Your notes are pretty detailed. Plus, Oscar's here to help, as always. Trust me. Well, knowing Oscar's... There's a, well, knowing Oscar's there does make me feel a bit better. Larry and Oscar. Of course, you too, hon. Fine, I'll stay home today. Let me know if you need any extra help. Alright, now. There's some soup on the stove, by the way. Oh, did you make it? 
Charlotte, if heating up on the stove after it was delivered comes to me. I suppose I appreciate the thought. Thank you, Larry. Have a good day at work. Hope you feel better, love. 16 February. Psst, nah. Important question. Did you head out without no- noticing? Without me noticing. Detects are coming from inside the house. Anyway, could you get me a pint, please? The kitchen's right next to you. But I'm right at the best part. You've only watched train spotting a hundred times now. Don't know how you can stomach it, honestly. It's a classic, and I never know how you can sit through Lawrence of Arabia. It's only about three days long. Now, that's a real classic without any gross-out scenes, too. Right, engaging in plot, then. Man desert, man desert, more ma- ma- des- ma- desert, and even more desert. It's a whole atmosphere and mood, and might I remind you, Peter O'Toole was a national tre- treasure. He, he was quite the des- desert in the desert, too. Well, can't argue with that. Wow, I just realised this film came out over two decades ago. It makes me feel really old. Ah, love, we all have to grow up at some point. Excuse me, we're the same age. 45's not that old. Are you implying that I'm a geratic? Geratic? Uh, I'll get the point. <laughs> Want me to bring you some ice tea too? Smooth operator. And yes, please. For what it's worth, I'm glad you chose life with me. 17th Hey, Nat, did you go out? Where are you? The kettle was left on. Was there an emergency? Seriously, Nat, where are you? Please give me a call. I've been looking everywhere for you. If you see this message, please call me, okay? Please be okay, Nat. Mr. Flint. Hello, is this Mr. Flint? Who is this? If this is a telemarketer, I'm not interesting. I'm not interested. I assure you, I'm not here to tell you anything. This is Lawrence Nightingale. I live near your property. Friendly neighbour, is it? Forgive me. Where are my manners? What can I help you with? That's all right. Is it just Flint? Oh, that's Mr. Flint to you. Now, what do you want? I won't ask a third time. Right, I'll get to it straight. There are some concerns regarding your property. Over the real estate told you they're lying. It's not safe there. Don't go in that house. Are you calling my cousin a liar? Pardon? My cousin's the one who sold me that house. My cousin's the estate agent. Are you calling them a liar? That's not what I meant. I apologise for insulting your family, but that's not important right now. You need to stay away from that house, Mr. Flint. Please. I don't know what you're playing at, Nightingale, but I won't be told what to do Some like some bumbling half-wit. Perhaps if we talked over the phone, I could explain better. You have one minute. You hung up. Yes, because it, like my cousin, I'm a liar too. I suggest you stop pestering me with this nonsense. Goodbye. Uh, good day, Nightingale. Fortunately, return. Mr. Flint, I apologise for the heated exchange. Perhaps we got off the wrong foot. Please allow me to make amends. Why don't you pop by for supper sometime with my wife and I? We'd like to give you a proper welcome to the neighbourhood. As well as things can get can get lost in translation with these modern devices. Very well. I accept your invitation, Mr. Nightingale. Excellent. Hopefully we can sort all this out. Isla Town End. Town, town's End. Psst, Izzy. Yes, Larry. So I want to get a surprise gift for Nat, but the usual flowers seem boring. Any ideas? Oh, Larry. What you gone and done now? Nothing. Come on. Come now, you can tell me. That's my best day and all, but I can't. But I can keep a secret. I'm serious. Can't a man do something nice for his lovely wife just because? All right, all right. Hmm. I know she's been talking about that new Indian place. Last days of the Raj. That's the name. You want me to get her curry? Trust me, she'll be thrilled. Okay. Curry it is then. You know, just add that you two are sickeningly, sickeningly sweet. I say it with blood. I say it with love. 17th February. Izzy, just checking in. Have you heard from that today? Hmm. No, actually. Why? Why? Is everything alright? I... I don't know. She's not been replying to my calls or texts. It's not like her to be this unresponsive. Oh no. Maybe it, her phone's out of battery? I'll try asking around too. Keep each other posted, yeah? Thanks, Izzy. Larry, no one's seen or heard from her. I'm really worried now. Larry? I'm here. I just... I don't know what to do. I'm coming over. We'll go to the police. Okay. 19th February. Hi, Larry. How are you? Let me know if you need a chat, alright? We'll find a Larry. Don't give up hope. 21st. Larry, don't shut yourself off, please. We're all here for you. I think the angels want revenge. I think that's what is going on here. And to be fair, if I was the angels, I'd want revenge. Wester Drumlins. I don't know about you, but the repeated mention of that place is raising some alarms for me. You would think that they would possibly know about that. That unit would know.
it's raised more than allowance for Lawrence here. Right, Sally too, from what I gather. It's, except I don't think the reactions are based on second-hand of accounts. There was too much pain in his voice. That house seems like Sally and Lawrence have a history with it. Oh, they sure do, love. They sure do. Sent an update to report. Uh, what are you going through? Alright, so he filled out a thing to do. What is that? Ooh. It looks like a shadow, and I don't appreciate that. <laughs> this game is really good. It's very creepy. It's making me. Aha, progress. Fabulous. What kind of progress? These items are more like fragments, really. The two pieces you scanned connect to each other. They might connect to other fragments as well. That's exactly what I thought I knew would make a good team. We'll get a better picture when we've got all the pieces. So keep calm and carry on scanning. By the way, it looks like the corruption is blocking a direct link. It might be worth checking out that email again to see where it leads. Find Me is a charitable day that has built out people find their missing loved ones, yeah. Why does it look like there's a face up here? I don't think it is, but it's creepy. Oh, okay. Um, she was 45, I think. Sex female. What eye colour does she have? Brown. Okay, I'll be in the browser on it. Um, eye color brown, female. Home address. Timber Street. Missing since. Good question, actually. Seventeenth. Of February twenty twenty one. All right, got rid of them. Brown, female. There we go. Search. Did I do it right? I think I did. 17th of February, yeah. When did she... Yeah, it's definitely the 17th. Seventeenth of February twenty twenty one. Nine Timber Street. Was it forty five? Yes. Is it brown eyes she has? Yeah. Definitely brown eyes. I don't like this. I don't know what that is. I don't appreciate it. Select eye colour. Was it amber? It is Timber Street, right? That is that right? Timber Street. It's just 
71 timber stream. What did I put? Seventeen. Oh well, yeah, I was practically there. Seventy-one. There we go. Brown. Female. Search. That still didn't work. <laughs> but that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Probably people are out there right now just going, oh my god, just put it right. I know, I'm trying, shush. Alright, there we go. Brown, female, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. There we go. Missing. Natasha Nightingale. Nice little scan here. Uh, 17th of February, yep. Update for you, buddy. I'm afraid it's not good news. As surrounding, you're pretty much the last person to see Natasha. No signs of forced entry or anyone coming over the fence into your home. For what you tell me, pretty much all personal effects are still in the house. So she clearly didn't go anywhere on her own. Checked in with a couple of pals at Scotland Yard too. Had them run every database I could think of. Not a sniff. Not in the whole of London. I hate to, say, hate to sound corny, but it's like she just vanished into thin air. Sorry, Lunch, she was your wife, and I know this must be hard to hear, but this is the deadest of dead ends I've ever seen in my in my 16 years doing this job. I think this investigation is over. I mean, obviously, there's you, you're not going to find any information, because if sent back in time, it must have been awful to know that, to know that neither a private investigator nor the police could help. I can't imagine how Lawrence must feel. Especially when circumstances are as curious as this. The report is rather inclusive. I was afraid of this. Quite a few of my ex-colleagues disappearing while on assignment. Losing people never gets easier. And to lose your spouse, I imagine that's much harder. I've had a closer look at what you've sent me so far. I've seen some worrying interface... Interface... Interf interference? Interference... God, interferences in some of the data. I think Loris and Natasha may be in serious trouble. What kind of trouble? That, I can't tell from the data at this point. But we'll have to find more, and fast. We need to redouble our efforts at finding Lawrence and Natasha. So, what's the plan? Ideally, unit would be the best agency to handle this. These types of odd cases are especially our specialty as well. I feel like I've heard about unit before. What? How? This is highly classified information. But you've come this far. You deserve to know. Unified Intelligence Task Force Unit for short. Our job is to keep Earth safe. Officially, we don't exist anymore. Unofficially, some of us kept going in secret to solve this time fraction debacle right now. I'm still annoyed that they got rid of unit. Damn you, Chibnall. Time fracture, that's something else going on at the moment as well. Um, it's like a live event thing. I'm not going to go to it. It didn't interest me. If we don't, well, the less you know about the possible end of the universe in the near future, the better. But back to the matter in hand. It's down to us to solve this. So what do you think we should look into next? Lauren's chat with Sally is interesting. Yes, I was thinking that. More sounds that they know what happened to Natasha. There's clearly some connection to this Wester Drumlin's place. Lawrence's voice message also implies a them from Wester Drumlin's. Good spot. I noticed that. What are your thoughts about this ominous them? Maybe he thought someone kidnapped Natasha. Possibly, but none of this feels like a kidnapping case. No ransom demand, no target, no reason to target Natasha. At any rate, Lawrence specifically mentioned Wester Drumlins. That makes it our next lead. I managed to recover some new data. Let's see what you find out about this place. Right, um... I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, this is really interesting. Um, 
it's going well. Uh, it's made me jump a few times. Um, yeah, this is this is very good. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you liked it, please leave a like and tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you like this game? I do. I think it's pretty good. Tell me what you think. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.